next story is one that affects a lot of us, especially this time of year. Yeah, if you don't suffer from allergies, no doubt you know somebody who does. All new this morning, if you've tried just about everything and nothing works to ease your pain, Sarah Kallstrom just may have a new option for you to try. It's a beautiful time of year. The air is warm, the flowers are blooming, and if you have allergies, your nose is probably running too. A lot of people are coming in with runny noses, sneezing, nasal congestion, just pretty miserable right now. Allergies can be bad any time of year, but now when pollen counts are high, it can be especially brutal. The nasal sprays I was using, just a lot of. Pat Dividus is a longtime Valley resident. After more than two decades of suffering from allergies, she didn't think she would ever get relief. I had a lot of different over-the-counter type medications that I kind of just self-medicated and tried to, you know, if one didn't work, I just went to the next one. That's where Dr. Leslie Axelrod comes in. She's a naturopathic doctor. She says prescription drugs and over-the-counter medicine can sometimes mask the symptoms but they don't always fix the problem. There's a lot of different things people can do. Like taking supplements, Dr. Axelrod recommends three off the bat. It helps to decrease the allergic response. First vitamin C, then a bioflavonoid like rose tips to help decrease inflammation, and a herb called nettles, which should help with the severity of the allergy. Here's something you may never have thought of. Pat Dividus didn't. Food allergies. The most common allergens are wheat, dairy, eggs, corn, soy. Pat Dividus took the blood test for food allergies. It came back positive. And I got my results back and I, I avoided those foods and like within three days I could see I, I felt better. So after a lifetime of sniffing and sneezing, Pat Dividus says she can say with complete clarity she is now symptom free. Sarah Carlstrom, CBS 5 News. Okay, if you are interested in supplements to treat your allergies, they're not covered by insurance, but they cost about the same as a typical copay, up to 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And we'll try anything, right? <laughs> ah, feel your pain out there.